and another day of filling up at the Placentia station. I wanted to check out the new Santa Ana one, but it is offline. We have four Mirais. We have a Gen 2, Gen 1, and a Gen 2. And we are in line for the True Zero station in Placentia. Looks like this gentleman just finished. This looks like a XLE, but it's a 2024. How I know that is the side mirrors. The side mirrors on the 2024s, I believe, come with a lot more driving assist. So you can see that little black portion underneath the side mirror there. Really interesting versus ours. No black piece. Another Mariah pulling it, pulling up. And that it looks like a 23 or 22. Here we go. I'm not sure what this guy is doing, but there's another Mariah meet at the Placentia station. Before fill, our usual 87 miles or 89. Let's turn off the car. And you cannot open the fuel cap unless the car is off. Open the fuel door. Let's see what we got here. Let's insert our Toyota fuel card. When we do that, no receipt for us. And enter our zip. Excuse me, sir. Is this, I, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, no worries. I, we're gonna help a lady out next to us. But we're good. We need to connect the nozzle. Then let's press price check really quick 36 per kilogram. All right, so we are at the Placentia station. Pretty full, so we have one here, ours, Gen 1. And then a Gen 2, and another, I thought that was another one. So, one, two, three, four Mirais at the Placentia station. This one we've frequented pretty often, mainly out of convenience. But uh, there we are. All the stations seem to be running. There are four pumps at the station. And yeah, so $36 a kilogram. I'm guessing with 89 miles of range, we should be expecting uh, maybe $120, but we'll see. There we go. Also a quick update, the rear bushings that were done on the rear of the car, the rear subframe, worked well for about a week. I'm hearing it again. So there's a creak in the rear subframe area. Um, the, re the recall, or not recall, the um, warranty claim was done. Let's say about, I forgot the exact date, you have to look back, but I would say probably like two months ago or so. But the creak is back. Um, yeah, so if it persists, it gets a little louder, more annoying, I'm gonna call the dealership again, try to figure something out because it's pretty annoying. Um, it's a newer car, only has like 22,000 miles on it. There's no reason for that sub subframe bushing to creak that much, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, unfortunate update. You should be about wrapped up. Uh, 3.9 kilograms so far, $140. Still going. Still going. I think. 
looks to have stopped. Should be halting soon. Took a little bit, maybe a solid minute until it said release nozzle after halting fueling. Let's release the nozzle. Push handle in, pull back that piece. A little wiggle. All right, took a little elbow grease that time. Very good. And sales complete, $141. Let's see what the full tank is. We have 336 miles without AC, with AC 310.